jump, 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 jump. So, you guys that have played Morrowind before know what's about to happen. Um, yeah, I'm going the right way, okay. So, pretty soon here, let's just walk into this branch. Are we there yet? Soon. Any second now. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so if you're wondering about this, this is Tar Heel or something. He came up with this. Uh, ooh. No, actually, never mind. It's worth 62. I'll sell that when I get to the next place. Um, extravagant robe. Let's just take it all, man. Shoes. And this is the Scroll of Icarian Flight. So, basically, it allows you to fly, but I actually don't really know how to use it. It's OP, it allows for speedruns, so let me show you this. So, I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all of the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances covering many hundreds of miles, blah blah blah. Um, yeah. The funny thing is, he dies. Okay? He jumped, and he died. And I just realized that it... yeah. It, it really does warp if you look straight down at the ground. So, um, let me, let me see, let me see, uh, here, actually, let me change some keybinds, so I'm going to press F1, let's, uh, inventory menu item, yep, that'll be my sword, two will be firebite, hearth heal, uh, I think, I think healing would be pretty awesome, and I can actually, uh, go ahead and add firebite, all right, Okay, so let's try this out right here. Uh, how do I how do I do this? I'm trying to I don't even I'm sorry I don't I don't know too much about Morrowind. Uh, there we go. That's my that's my current spell. So let's try out Hearth Heal. And left click. Does that is that how you do it? All right. Let's just keep let's keep trying. Okay, there we go. I actually healed myself. My hands look amazing, don't they? Oop, I accidentally... Oh, I accidentally hit F1 instead of 1. Okay. That is... It's very important to be able to quickly change whatever you're doing. Believe you me. Alright, quick tip, by the way. Uh, let me see if it... That's how it works with hand, with uh, spells. No. Okay. Quick, important... Very important notice. To keep yourself from uh, losing a bunch... And when I say a bunch, I mean literally a bunch... Of um, fatigue... Number one, uh, jumping decreases your acrobatics quickly. But also, number two, where is this Silt Strider? I think he's this way. Okay, but number two um, makes it harder to fight if your fatigue is down. But what I was saying, if you carry your weapon, it decreases your fatigue very quickly. Not so with, with spells, cause, for obvious reasons, because it's just your hands. Where is the Silt Strider? I think he's right up this rock, right? Uh, did I did I walk past this? I must have walked past. Okay, there we go. Here's the Silt Strider. So, let's see if this character is going to say my favorite line in the whole game. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay. Uh, okay. Never mind. Alright. So, basically, Silt Striders allow you to go almost anywhere. I'll go to Balmora. This is not everywhere, by the way. I'll go to Balmora. Very cheap. Very, very cheap. So, wh oh, there we go. That's my favorite line. Why walk when you can ride? Ah, uh, all right. It is nighttime-ish, kind of. It's dusk. So, what we need to do is we need to find ourselves the South Wall Corner Club. So, I'm going the absolute wrong way. South Wall. Let's, let's, let's look at my journal. By the way, what I love about traveling is that it actually takes time out of traveling, like, so it heals as you travel, so, uh, so that's pretty nice. So let's look at my journal. Uh, Ring of Healing, um, okay, here we go. Um, ask in Balmora, Balmora at the corner called Southwall, aka Southwall Corner Club. So I wonder what would happen if I were to jump in. No, let's not find out. So, um, 
let's see here. I believe I'm going the absolute wrong way. I think this is actually the corner club. Yep, here we go. Let's go into the corner club. I actually know where Caius is, but for it's just a good idea just to let you guys know. So let's talk to Sotil. Sotil? I don't know. Uh, Caius Cosades. That old sugar tooth, I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacola Clotius, the owner. He'll know. He's the owner. He must be around here somewhere. Man, I, ju I just feel amazing because I know what's going on right now. All right, give me, give me Caius Cosades. He rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, and then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs and down to the end of the street. Awesome. I'm going to pretend like I caught all that. Go right up the stairs. Okay. You go left. And then this is his house over here, I think. Jump, jump. Man, my fatigue is going down because I'm running. But it's important to get my my stuffs up to, you know, get get amazing at this. So, okay. I'm listening. All right. You were told to report to Caius Cosades. So, you say your name is Syro, and you've been told to report me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it? Yep. Yes, very interesting. So, it says here that the Emperor wants me to mentor you, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to trust me and follow my orders, Syro? Yep. Good. Welcome to the surface. service, novice Syro. You are now a member of the Imperial Blades, where the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And, when the Emperor commands, we obey. I'm the Imperial Sky Mas Spy Master for Morrowind. And, since I'm the ranking Blades agent in Morrowind, you'll report to me. Follow my orders, obey our rules, and you'll do fine. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades Trainer now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away, but don't forget to visit the Blades Trainers. So let's go to orders. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 drakes, aka gold. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. I have a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, or Mages Guild, or Imperial Cult, or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience. Or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then, when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. So, I'm going to get a drink of water. I've been doing so much talking. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. I'm, I like the Fighters Guild, personally. It's a professional organization chartered by the Emperor, uh, blah, 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 so, uh, and yeah. Okay, let's go over here to the Fighters Guild, and it is getting kind of dark outside. Uh, let me see if I know where the Fighters Guild is. Okay, I actually know where it is in Balmora, since I was playing a little bit before I uh, actually started uh, this LP, because I actually made a recording uh, a couple nights ago, actually. And uh, it utterly failed. The render distance kept changing, and uh, sound was awful. My commentary was awful. So I decided to... Uh, I, I just gave up, and I decided that I would just... Um, I would just try again. And uh, it's working out very well. So, let's see here. Da -da -da -dun -dun -dun. Might as well keep on working on my acrobatics. I'm just curious, what does this mean? Uh, I mean, like, the red bar, what does that mean? Not sure. I think maybe, I don't know. So. Oh yeah, let's keep on cheesing those skills, man. Okay, here is the Guild of Fighters. So, this is Idas Fireeye. Well, speak up, Dark Elf. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? You look like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to look at the Fighters Guild Charter. Are you ready to sign up now? Free Charter. Your duties are to your lords and brethren. In all ways, proceed with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind and never succumb to the craven tricks of the weak. As a member, you are permitted to use items in our equipment chest. It is traitorous to fight or thieve from other members of your guild. If you break these rules, you must spend or oh, you must speak with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. Do you feel you can uphold these service simple ideals? Uh, sure. 
You are now Syro the Associate in the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Ah, uh, yes, let's advance. Your talents are noteworthy, but some que some question your depth of devotion. Perform some duties for the Fighters Guild, and you will earn your place. It's simple, Syro. The citizens give us duties and go on, and I pass some of them on to you. When you're ready for advancement, uh, yeah, uh, okay. All right, let's actually come down here, cause uh, there's the equipment chest, and let's see here. There is everything useful: cheap restore health, standard restore f fatigue, standard. Oops, thought I clicked that. Standard uh, restore health. Very important things to have. I don't need this whatsoever. Um, these are very useful. I'm actually gonna go ahead and steal those, because um, if I can repair my stuff, that is very important. So I. And all my stuff should be perfect because I actually can you hmm is it uh, nah it's fine all right let's come down here and some of you have played before you know what's about to happen and other than me thieving okay you know what's about to happen uh, let's see here Any second. Come on. Is my lockpick going to break soon or something? Uh, no. There we go. Finally. All right. This isn't that useful. It's good for selling, I guess. And gold, I'll take some five. I'll take five pieces of gold. Time... To pract keep practicing my lock picking skills. There we go. Ah, oh, crap! Really? Oh yeah, lack of bows. Um. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's equip my sword again because I know it's about to happen. Sorry, I just spoiled it for all of you. But I'm I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it. Gosh dang it. Well, let's try resting again. There we go. There's an assassin right here. And uh, he's failing at being an assassin. There we go. Oh, just knocked him down. There we go. You're dead now, right? Oop, did not want to rest. I wanted to look at the assassin. Okay. Carved ebony dart. Value 2,000. Mother of God, let's take that. Silver dagger. Uh, oh, jeez. Everything is worth so much. All right, let's take it all. Okay. He's not a very nice looking guy. All right. So, my journal's been updated. Uh, one of the uh, oh, one of the assassins had an odd dart on his body, the look of which I've never seen before. Yeah, not sure if I'm supposed to keep that dart or what. Gosh, I need to buy myself another lockpick because I want to get into that other, other chest. So anyway, I maybe I'll keep the dart. Anyway, apparently, you know that guy was just like, "Lol, no, I'm not going to attack a guy while he's got his sword out, please." Oop! I just accidentally like bumped into my mic. And let's see here. It's dark as heck. I know that I have everything turned up. Uh, hmm. Really doubting my ability to actually get to Caius's house. I know how to get there, though. Let's go this way. So I can simply get more Balmora filled out on my map. Alright, it's a little brighter through here. Not really. Gosh, I'm just running around just a bit in my... Fatigue is just going down like crazy. If I stand here for a second, it'll start going back up. Yeah, you can see that. All right. Let's go to Caius's house. Hello. Going the right way. Yep, going the right way. And Caius's house should be just up the street. Athletics. Okay, there's a difference. So athletics is quite a bit different than acrobatics. Acrobatics is jumping. Athletics is running around. So... Alright, that also has to do with your fatigue. So I'm just going to rest. Wait, what? 
Why, why am I so stupid? I just realized that I could have rested at the Fighter's Guild, because there's a freaking bed. Okay, that's a fun thought. Alright, let's rest for like eight hours or something. No, wait, ten should, ten should be good. Okay. Simply because I want it to be bright outside. This is good enough. It's morning time, let's see. Gosh, you know, there's a couple moons of Morrowind, I guess, or whatever planet this is on. I mean, of course, Morrowind is not its own planet. So, can I sneak down here? Nope, can't. All right, let's go to... Uh, yeah, let's go this way. And then we're going to go back to the Guild of Fighters. Guess I might as well keep on working up my acrobatic skill. So... Uh, I'm thinking about if I should talk to the armor. Let's see how much... So I've got 326 gold. It's a pretty healthy amount of gold. Anyway, if you're wondering why I'm so laggy... Uh, you know, Balmora tends to be laggy. As does any other NPC-filled place. NPCs just make me lag. Wait, am I even going the right way? Close enough. I take a ride up the street, I think. Is that right? Kaisa's house is up here somewhere. Okay, no, I was going to Guild of Fighters. Right. Okay, so let's just keep on cheesing the acrobatic skill. This is actually Guild of Fighters over here. So, oop. Someone just screamed outside. Gosh, I feel slightly concerned. So, let's talk to you. I'm here for advancement. Um, let's go to orders. Okay, there we go. I was wondering if I when I'd get this mission, so I'm going to get another drink of water. Gosh, my throat feels kind of raw, and I'm planning, gosh, I'm like planning on doing another another recording. So go to Drarine Thales House, it's here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from, kill the rats, get your payment from her. Report back to me once you've taken care of this. So, I actually uh, know where her house is. I know where you live. Yeah, it's right across the river. So uh, let's jump from here, because I can. What? Did you, did you, ooh, man. Cheesy, but awesome. That's awesome. Alright, of course if I had a better graphics card, there'd be like god rays and everything. Gosh, this is a little blinding, but I don't care. Uh, nothing, sir. Alright, this is her house right here, actually. Yep. So she's got some cave rats, it's awesome. Um, I wish I could, uh eh, thinking about if I should rest or not. Alright, let's talk to you. Yes, cave rats. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried that they'll eat all my... P I'm so concerned that rats will eat my pillows too, ma'am. I am I, I am in the same boat as you. Uh, you like pillows, don't you, Syro? Uh, sure, I like pillows. Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Genius! Let's trap them with the pillows! You're so smart, lady! Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Man, I hope so, too. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. All right. I'm just getting my fatigue up. Let's just stand here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, lady. Okay. Let's, uh, nah, let's let... I was going to use a potion, but usually it's best to use those in a fight, like an actual serious fight. Because, uh, you know, once I actually get into a little more intense battles, I'll want that. So I see I've been recording for something around 40 minutes. I didn't set a timer. So, let's get going here. I know there's a rat right here. Hi there. Gosh dang it. There we go. Let's see, you didn't have anything good on you. There's actually nothing back here. Just some pillows that aren't worth anything, you know. Should I? Here, you know, I haven't done a quick save in a while. Let's let's save here. No, I don't even have a lockpick. Never mind. Why the heck did I even think that would work? All right, I'm just walking because I'm trying to keep my fatigue up. If that, uh, yeah, I guess that that makes sense, right? And it's annoying as heck to walk. It really is. Okay, here are the stairs up to upstairs. Those magical wind chimes. And there are a couple rats up here. So, let's enter. 
There are two rats. Oh, crap. Okay, got you. I'll get you, too. Don't you worry. There we go. Okay. Rat meat. Why the heck not? Dispose of corpse. And uh, let's dispose of your corpse as well. I guess I can start running again. I'll take all of those. Ah, uh, ooh, sl slowed soap. Uh, ooh, that red lichen. lichen. Ooh, drew wax. Yes, let's take it all. I'm just robbing this poor little lady who's got some rats. All right, awesome. Let's take those. Okay, and it's dark in here. Quality, ooh, quality restore endurance. I will happily take that. Did I just say happily? Take it. Ev take everything, you know. Pretty soul gem. Some gold. Basket of, oh, no, don't want those pillows. That's a basket of pillows. More pillows. I believe I stole everything. Oh, didn't take the scuttle. Or this saltries or whatever. There's a second sack here. Ooh, that's that's worth a bit. It's worth a pretty penny, guys. All right, that's everything, I believe. Yep. Okay, that's everything. Let's go sell my stuff. I believe the armor... Actually, wait, I need to talk to this lady first. Okay, because I, I realized that last time when I tried to do this, I had to talk to her. Can I increase... Or, oh, can I interest an outlander like you in a little Marwin lore? Nah, not right now. Okay, rat. Uh, 100 gold. All right. Let's go back outside here. Let's run across the way. Now I can very happily go right through my fatigue. Because I'm fine with that. And Fighter's Guild's actually up this way. So, um, yeah, once I do this, I'm going to go to the armor, which is right there. Sell everything, buy some more stuff, buy myself a spell or two. And, uh, yeah. All right, let's talk to you, lady. Uh, cave rat. So you killed the rat, Cyro? Not bad for you. You ready for more orders? Nope. So let's go down here, see if there's anything new for me to steal out of this chest, if this lady doesn't get in the way. Let me into the chest. Uh, nope, nothing new. Gosh, look at my inventory. Gosh, it's so full. Okay. Let's... Oh, crap. I just realized that I still have the hammers with me. Don't... Oh, jeez. That's why. Okay. That's, you know, having... Being... Having so much stuff really does slow you down quite a bit. So. Let's deposit these hammers in here, which is actually going to help a ridiculous amount. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right. That looks awesome. Let's come back up here. And let's see. Is there a door out of here? Right here? believe there is. All right, this is the main door. out. Of, oh, no. This is actually another guy that I can train with, I believe. Uh, I could totally steal this stuff, but it's actually not worth that much. I know I was talking about in the beginning, like, steal everything you can. I could. I really could. It's just not really worth the possibility of getting caught. So I randomly felt like healing myself. Awesome. And let's uh, put away my hands. All right, let's go talk to this armor right here. Wait, actually, no, the armor doesn't buy anything. He, sell, he, you know, sells you stuff. This guy is the one that buys the random crap from you. The outfitter does. Okay. All right, let's see here. Where is that outfitter? There's a bed there. I can't sleep in somebody else's bed, though. All right, I'd like to barter. Sell you every freaking thing that I sold. Actually, let's make this bigger. Because I can. Oh, yeah, look at that right there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, spoon, wooden cup, wooden bowl, wicker basket, storage key. I, I can't even sell that, I don't think. Pewter goblet, pretty soul gem, glass bowl. Yes, let's sell those, except he's going to offer, offer me like half of what I was saying. Uh, no, I'm actually going to read that. And let, actually, yeah, I don't need that. Uh, let's see here. Clay pot. Decorative plate, scriddle, saltress, resin. Just trying to make sure that I don't accidentally sell anything that I shouldn't. Bread, eh, I'll keep that because it's good for fatigue. Hackle low leaf, 
goatee hide or something. And, alright, let's see. Uh... Oh gosh, I'm gonna get rich from selling this guy's stuff. I really am. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna be rich here. Of course, there are people who have, like, thousands upon thousands, and it's just like... What? Oh, duh. You can't afford it. Duh. Alright, let's take out back some of the stuff... And then I'll buy some stuff from you. How does that sound? Alright. Let's barter. Let's buy... Uh, let's see here. I want to buy myself some useful stuff. Actually, wait. You don't sell You don't sell anything really useful. I'd have to talk to the... Uh, let's see here. I'd have to talk to the... Um, what's his face? I wonder if there's a spell to cure fatigue. That's... That's not a bad idea. All right, let's talk to the armorer. Yes. All right, let's talk to this guy. All righty. Let's see what you have for me. Do you have any spells? No spells. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'd kind of like some shoes, maybe armoring shoes. Uh, let's see here. I don't need any hammers. Um... Uh, what am I really looking for? I'm looking for a weapon, maybe. A weapon would be kind of nice. Uh, hmm. I don't think he has any long... I don't, he doesn't have very many weapons. Yeah, he's only got one weapon. He does mainly armor and stuff. Let's buy myself some iron boots. And some... dun 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 I already have a helmet. Um, ooh, let's see if you want to buy some of this stuff. Ooh, you're going to buy this stuff. Awesome. All right, um, just trying to make sure... What? This this sucker's worth a thousand. You only offer me, like, a tiny fraction. All right, let's talk to you again. Okay, let's try it. So, this sucker only offers me, like, half of what this is worth. I'm just, like, selling off this stuff, and he's just like, lol, no. Come on, man. At least give me 1,200. Oh, okay. All right, that's good with me. Okay, 1,200. Uh, let's see here. Do I want to buy anything? Oh, I already bought those boots, I believe. Or, no, I didn't, actually. Because I was just like, oh, wait, let me let me do this. Okay, that's, that's good. 20 is a good amount. Okay. Let's equip myself dem boots. Awesome. And, uh, you're just quietly standing over here. Alright, let's see. Um, I'm thinking that I'm wanting to end off the video. I want to find a guy that sells, uh, weapons and stuff. Let's see if I have anything on my map. I haven't even completely explored this place. Let's just look around just a little bit. Let's keep on working on my acrobatics. I believe this is a, this looks like a residential area. But, I don't know. I, I could kill that guar. These boots are ruined. All right, let's just make sure this is, like, all residential. Oh, man, I have to actually, like, walk up very close to each door. You've got my ear. Let's hear it. Okay. Um, hmm, but this is... This recording's kind of dragging on a bit. Well, okay. I think I'll explore a bit later. Whoa, got stuck there for a second. I think I'm going to explore a bit later, see if I can find myself that, uh some uh, weapons. Yeah, that'd be nice to get myself a new sword. I mean, I barely used it, but I don't care. So, let's keep on trying. There we go. Alright, oop, did not want to bring out my sword. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I want to try out this shield. I, I just have to try out this shield. I, oh, yeah, I don't have enough magicka. Okay. And let's see here. Let's uh, keep that as my active spell. So, um, this is this has definitely been a lot of fun. Morrowind is a great game. I love it so far. I am excited to do this Let's Play. So, as always, if you like the content, subscribe. And, as always, guys, 
keep on adventuring.